Hello mathematicians, welcome to Number Corner. For Number Corner today, we will be working on the number line to celebrate our 10th century day. Here's what you need. You'll need your Number Corner book and a pencil. You can pause the video now to get what you need. To celebrate the 10th century day, we will be working on two pages in our Number Corner book. Before we open our books, let's count on our number line from our 9th century day up to today. Remember, we have been counting our school days as groups of 10 hours. Let's count by tens for each school day since our 9th century day, starting at the number 900. Count with me, starting at 900 in 3, 2, 1. 900, 910, 920, 930, 940, 950, 960, 970, 980, 990, 1,000. Now let's have a closer look at what that 1,000 means for us. Now have we really spent 1,000 days in school? No, I should see a lot of thumbs down. How many days in school have we really spent if we've been collecting our school days as groups of 10 hours? How many groups of 10 are in 1,000? Show a connection if you're thinking it's 100. That's good thinking. We're really celebrating our 100th day of school today. 100 equals one century. Let's have a look at how we're going to celebrate. Now you can open your number corner books to page 65. Let's have a look at number one and see how we're going to help kangaroo today. For number one, Kangaroo is asking us to help her hop from 900 to 990. The first thing you need to do is fill in all the missing numbers along the number line, just like we did together. If the first number we see is 910, well, what's the number that comes right before that? What number comes after 910. Fill in all of the boxes. Then trace kangaroo's hop to 910, this one right here. And then draw the rest of the hops yourself as you count by tens, all the way to the end. Number two says what number comes after 990 if you're counting by tens. Write the answer on the line. For number three, we are thinking more about our centuries by thinking more about time. When people talk about time and history, they have special names for certain numbers of years. When we're talking about just one year, we use the word year. When we're talking about 10 years, we'd use the word decade. When we're talking about 100 years, we use the word century. When we talk about 1,000 years, we use the word millennium. We are going to use each of these special words once in its own sentence. You can write about the past or the future. 
you could write a statement of fact or fiction. For example, you could write a sentence like this. One millennium from today, people will be able to travel to any planet in outer space. Now, do we know that for a fact that people will be able to do that? No, we don't. That's fiction. Does it use the word millennium in the right way? It sure does, because a millennium would be a thousand years from now. That's a long time. And it'll be a really long time before people can travel from planet to planet. Can you think of a sentence to use the word year in? How about the word decade or century? Let's look at a few more examples. One way to use the word year in a sentence would be, one year from now, I will be in third grade. A way you can use the word decade in a sentence could be, in one decade, I will be in high school. If you wanted to use the word century, you could say something like this, one century from now, people will have flying cars. Now, that may or may not be true. But remember, your sentence can be fact or fiction. Another way to use the word millennium would be, in one millennium, kids will ride spaceships to school. These are just a few examples to warm up your brain. Do your best to think of your own sentences. Number four is showing you a grid of the counting by 10 numbers to 1,000. You are going to fill in the missing numbers. I want you to be thinking about our class number line that we've been counting on during the century days to help you. Think about our counting by 10. You will fill in every box that's empty. So if we start at the beginning right here, we're starting at the number 10, counting by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Keep filling in the boxes all the way to 1,000. When you get to number five, you are going to look back at the grid from number four. Think about any patterns you might see. Then you're going to write down two observations about the grid. That's how we'll celebrate our hundredth day of school in Number Corner. Thanks for counting with me. Now it's your turn to go celebrate in your number corner book. Turn this in on CESA to show your teacher when you're all done. See you next time for number corner.